Hi everyone and welcome back to the last day of my week featuring Penny Black stamps. Today I will be using again the same stamp set and I am going to stamp the poppy. To stamp it I am using black memento ink and I am going to stamp it on white cardstock. I am using memento because I plan to use my Copic markers today. So I have grabbed three different shades of red and you can see all those shades on your screen right now and I am going to do some uh, coloring. When uh, I use my Copic markers I like to start with the light color, go to the mid uh, color and then to the darker one. Now there are plenty of uh, videos on YouTube that teach you how to use your Copic colors. I don't use my Copics as often, but uh, you know crafters, we need to have everything. So when I started my collection of Copics, I went with that uh, smaller barrel. And although I have them for years, I never had to refill any of those. But uh, that's uh, of course because I don't use them as often. Today's card is going to be very simple, but uh, at the same time it's going to be very elegant. And uh, the design that I'm going for today is perfect for any type of cards, just uh, change the sentiment. And as always, you can find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today, just below the video in the description area. So once I have colored my poppy, I went ahead and used my scissors to cut it out. So I didn't really care if I was going outside of the lines, which makes coloring really easy. I have a small uh, white uh, cardstock here and I am going to stamp my poppy. By stamping the poppy I do have the stem and uh, I am also going to apply a little bit of color only at the perimeter of the flower. So when I stick uh, my other poppy on top you cannot see underneath an uncolored flower. And this is also going to add a little bit on the dimension since it's going to look like I have two layers of petals. So I'm going to stick that on top by using foam squares. I am going to color the stem. No shading there, this is such a, a small line. For my sentiment I'm using the Special Thoughts stamp set by Penny Black and I will go with the thank you sentiment it says, thanks for all you do, I really appreciate it. Most of the cards that I use and give away are um, thank you cards and birthday cards. So I can never have enough of those. Now I am going to stamp it using VersaFine ink just because it's so vibrant. And uh, again the design is so versatile that you can use it with pretty much anything. It can be a birthday card, it can be a thank you card, it can be a miss you card whatever you want really. I am using my foam scores at the back of the flower and I am going to pop it on top. I am also going to use uh, one of the markers that I used for coloring the flower and go around the edge to get rid of that white edge and this is going to look even prettier. And then I am going to commit and stick it down. As my card base I used black cardstock and uh, this is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I think that using black cardstock as your card base really makes the card striking. So I'm going to use some foam tape at the back and I have erased the main panel there. And to finish it off I'm going to use my Wink of Sella clear glitter pen as well as some enamel. And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun the whole week while I was featuring Penny Black. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card today. And if you need more inspiration, here are all the cards that I made using Penny Black stamps this week. Just click on any of the photos on your screen right now to watch the video or if you are on a mobile device, click the card that just popped on your screen. Thank you all for watching!